So previously on the Humvee build, we've got the inside and the outside painted. Now it's time to build out the inside. So in the Humvee, uh, I only have 65 square feet in this small space. So I don't have a lot to work with. Uh, so making these components fit in the right area is key to this. So we've got a small uh, 20 gallon water tank and that is actually going to go under this bench seat. The water pump, the accumulator, strainer, the hoses, some fittings and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and jump to the whiteboard and I'll kind of walk through the whole process for you. Okay, so here's a quick overview of the layout for the water system. Now we're gonna have the fill valve on the outside of the Humvee, which will go into the 20 gallon water tank. There'll also be a return breathing valve back and forth. And then it goes to the on and off switch, which then is the strainer to make sure that there's no crap inside of the system before it gets to the water pump. And then the water pump to the accumulator. The accumulator holds the pressure for the system and then that feeds to the water heater and the other sources of water. Where we're gonna put the water tank in here is gonna be under this bench. Now, this used to be where the gurney was in the Humvee. Now, I did have to cut it back a little bit uh, so that way we, we can first get it in there and get it strapped down, and then we'll end up covering this top piece back up after we wire it all, and then I'll cut a little side door in the side in case I need to access it in the future, but hopefully not. So, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is slide the tank in, go find the hole for the outside for the water fill, and go ahead and cut that, run the water line in, and then we can do the rest sitting in here, uh, right here in this little box. Before we get the tank all the way installed, I want to go ahead and add the gauge. Now, a lot of people don't do this, and after being on the road for three years, I highly, highly recommend doing this have to buy these separately but here's like the gauge itself and then here's the reader So I got the tank in and all the fittings and this is where I'm infamous for getting like sidetracked and then really going down a rabbit hole. So this is the door on the back of the Humvee that used to open up and be the stretcher or the gurney that used to come out. And so I already went down a rabbit hole and cut this piece of wood and put some angle iron in there. But you can see the back of the water tank is right there. It's just space that wouldn't have been able to be used for anything else. So. Why waste the space? Just make it something uh, more usable, so. So, you just pop this down. You got your hose right here. You can like spray off your feet. Obviously I don't have the water hooked up yet. Or if it's a nice summer day like today, you can just hose off outside, take a little quick shower, and then simply disconnect, shut this, and then this is the old door, shut that, and you're good to go. So let me just show you guys where I'm at right now. So I've got the door cut out. I went ahead and cut that piece out. I'm gonna hinge it, clean it up. As you can see, this is everything. Um, it's a little tight in there, but that's because the wall is gonna be built up from here over so i really can't go into this space uh with all the plumbing but i have coming out and this the on and off switch and the on and off switch and i have this kind of craziness going on right here but that reserves me enough space over here to be able to fit the accumulator in so coming out of here um, i know it's crazy but coming in and then i have the strainer which gets all the crap before it makes it to the water pump in case you know something gets in there and messes it up it'll go to the strainer first and then coming out of the pump i have a 90 to a 90 and then that'll put the accumulator right there above the water pump and then i'm gonna have another 90 off this and it's gonna cut and go back through here and run through this channel and up the corner 
that is the plan. And once I get the water heater, which I haven't received yet, I'm gonna put it in this area right behind the window. Uh, I'm gonna just reserve that because I'm gonna have it split from there. I'm gonna have it split and put the hot water up top and then I'm gonna have another hot water split and go back and go back to that outside shower that I spoke about before. So anyways, now it's time to click it all together, get it tightened down and uh, we'll move to the next step. So now what I'll be looking for in this plumbing area as the tank starts to fill up with water is one, that the gauge is working, uh, and then two, that there's no leaks once we start to build some pressure in the system. So just waiting on it to fill up a little bit and then we'll check. Unfortunately, I have a small leak, so. Uh, gosh, what a mess. <laughs> this part sucks. Um, so, and it is at the beginning point, so I gotta figure out if it's the tank where it's connecting or if it's the PEX fitting on the inside. So uh, I gotta take it apart, it's All part of the process. Right. Before I get too discouraged though, um, we can still check the water pump since I have to drain the water out of the tank now and I didn't put a drain on this system. Uh, what we're gonna do is just run a piece of PEX into the trash can. There we go. Water pump works. So that's a plus. The gauge works. So that's good. I don't have the LED lights set up for this yet, but that'll go there. And then this will all be covered. So it's not a total bust. Uh, just gotta get the water out of this and uh, cut this back open and see if we can figure out the solution for this problem. Fast forward, uh, I went ahead and fixed the plumbing issue, I hope, and I'm filling it back up with water now. So now is the moment of truth. Let's just hope that this is okay now. Fitting down there. So far, so good. So now that we made sure there's no leaks without pressure, we're gonna go ahead and pressurize the system and uh, turn on the water pump. And the way I am testing that is I took off the other extension that I had and this one just has a cap on the end of it. And so I'm just gonna run this cap over the accumulator fitting for right now and turn on the water pump. So the water pump will cut off when the pressure has been met. And now the system is under pressure. So if I pull that off, it's just gonna spray out water everywhere so that's really it for the plumbing right now uh, we got to move forward to some of the other steps like getting the water heater in place getting the plumbing ran for the shower the plumbing ran for the sink and then that's ultimately at the very end is when we can really fully test the system and make sure we don't have any issues but in this lower half there's no issues so uh, that's it for right now so just stay posted this is the exciting part of the build I believe and it's really the vision is coming to life. You know, we have a lot going on from the shower, from the kitchen area going on, from the bedroom. Everything's kind of coming together. So uh, stay posted. We'll see you guys next week.